welcome back to Cooking with Kayan. Oops. Today we are going to cook the seared chicken and creamy couscous. The lemongrass burgers and cabbage slaw with sriracha, mayonnaise, and pickled carrots. Ew. All better for this. This is what it's supposed to look like. You just hit the camera. No? Yeah? Sorry. I got excited. These are the next three that you'll vote for. Use the card at the top to vote. The top. I don't like it. I don't like it. Can you give me a trash bag? I guess. Thank you, you're so sweet. You didn't get the zester yet. No. Nope. I told you we needed it. I was cleaning. Thank you. We're not ready. Stop yeah. it! He's out of ten, He's gonna cause my legs to peel. Don't want that. I don't want that to happen. Yeah. We got burnt in Daytona all in one day. I didn't try to get burnt. Can tried to get burnt. We wait for it to How did you heal? All right, here we go. Let me see. Where am I putting the cabbage? This? Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and put the cabbage and the Persian cucumber in that bowl because that's where they're going. Cut out the core, large dice the leaves. I feel like I should use the big knife. You had the option, you're the one that picked it. I didn't realize what you I was doing. You realized you were doing cabbage? I did cabbage with the little one before. And what am I supposed to do with it? Large dice. Don't start doing that, I'm not gonna repeat everything. I'm sorry, I forgot! That's, that's not, that's a little big. Larger. Wait. This is, you remember, it was a cucumber that they didn't send us. Mm -hmm. Or the cucumber got smashed. Mm -hmm. And I had to go buy my own cucumber. Mm -hmm. Well, it was a Persian cucumber, and the mm -hmm. cucumber I got was a normal size that was like this long. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a difference. The carrots are actually gonna be kind of cool because we put the carrots in a small pot, the remaining sugar, remaining vinegar, and a big pinch of salt and a quarter cup of water, and then you heat it to boiling. Mm -hmm. Sounds interesting. Uh, 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 peel the carrots and grate in a large side of a box here. Now what? Large side? Large. Large side? Large. You want carrot? I think I just dropped some sugar <laughs> in my water. Did you hear him? Yeah. I was like, do you want carrot? And he goes, <laughs> Okay, my turn. <laughs> my hand is hurt, it's cramping. Ooh. Jingle, you want this little nub of a carrot? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> you talk so weird. Salt and pepper first. Oh my god. You need to drop any. Okay, back to carrots. Back to the slaw. Stirring. Oh. I lost two. Okay, they're going back in. So you just peel it and then use the zester for the garlic because we need a paste. I smashed it. 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 That's disgusting. You don't like mayonnaise? No. Mayonnaise is yummy. Especially not right by itself. Ugh, ugh. I eat it right by itself. Yeah, that's gross. I quit. I'm done. All right, on to the mayonnaise. Making the mayonnaise. Wait. Please. What? Nothing. Yeah, you're done. They don't need to see you throw it in a container. Yeah, they do. Nope. They need to know where it goes. No, yeah, they don't. Mm -hmm. nope. They don't need to see us cooking it at all. Maybe they want to see us put it in a container. If anybody wants to see us put stuff in a container, leave a comment. But we have no comments. I got sticky garlic in your chair. Can you use my paper towel? I'm done. Okay, you're done. Hey, paper towel, not paper towel. I'll give you a roll, that's better. Lemongrass, this is gonna be interesting. I have never even seen lemongrass. So it's a stalk. You cut off and discard the ends of the lemongrass. Oh yeah, yep, lemongrass. Looks like bamboo, or no, 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 sugar cane. Yeah, I think that's actually what it's gonna be like. Except it's gonna have a lemon taste. Peel away and discard 
the fibrous outer layers until you reach the pliable white core. Mince the lemongrass core. To keep peeling until I go to the core? Yeah, it says it's going to be a white, a pliable white core. So in the end, you might need to cut off more of the end, is what it looks like. <laughs> Okay, that looked dangerous. It was dangerous! Don't do that again. Ooh, it smells good. Does it? Wow, it, it smells like a lemon. Better than a lemon. I wonder, I need How to How far do I go? To the white core. I'm assuming all of that. And then the core should be like all together. Hopefully, because we're gonna rid of a lot. Oh look, it's the core! Is that the core? <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. Let me see it. It's <laughs> interesting. Or can I go more? Wait, I can go more. You probably can, but I was looking at the end and it looked like... Yeah, because I can go more. Oh, there we go. Figured it out, hold on, hold on. There we go, that's smooth, feel it. Well, the last one was smooth too, but look at the end. Cause you can keep going forever if you wanted to. If you do peel it, you have to mince it anyway. So just keep what you peel if you want to keep going. Tonight's recipe takes inspiration from the vibrant flavors of the Vietnamese banh mi sandwich, which totally makes sense now that I'm looking at it. Though banh mi refers to bread, typically baguette. Baguette. No, we're done now. Okay, well just, I said keep what you kept peeling. It's right here. Keep it on the cutting board. <laughs> <sighs> This is it! No fiber pieces. Wait, never mind. For a unique touch, we're mixing our beef with fresh lemongrass, a citrusy ingredient used in Southeast Asian cooking. Lemongrass. Giving lemongrass stalks a good whack, either directly onto a work surface or carefully with the flat side of your knives, knife, hmm? helps release its aromatic compounds before you prep it, ensuring its delicious flavor. Still uncertain what the core is. Those are still fiber pieces. That's what I'm saying. Like it just keeps going. Don't peel this. Don't peel that. Do it. This is a lot to go through for the dang core. It's interesting though. I, that's what I like about Blue Apron, like using all these unique ingredients like that. Nope. <laughs> it just disappears. So. There's no core. Wait, that might be the core. I have found the core. I just kidding. It. Mince all that. <laughs> And we, we probably should have had a little bit more than that too. Should I grab this piece too? Was that the next outer layer? I don't know. Oh, you know, quick. I'm smelling lemon and sriracha. Do you like sriracha? Nope. It's in your mayonnaise. You like mayonnaise. Yeah, but I don't like hot mayonnaise. But look how cool it looks. I don't care. I'm not gonna like this meal. I'll probably even Mexican from last night. They're burgers. You still have a burger. You're acting like you're not about to eat a burger. I'm not gonna like this at all. It's just cabbage. It's yeah, all it is. It's gonna be hot. It's cabbage and sriracha. That's gonna be hot. Bo. Uh, cabbage and sriracha. I don't like you. See, Jingle even knows. You wanna taste it? Nope. Where'd I put it? In this bowl. big bowl. Yep. Well, it looked a lot bigger at the time. <laughs> Looked a lot bigger. Oh, have the buns. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Amazing. Let's go ahead and make the burgers. You make the, the burgers. burgers. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Bow, bow. Here you go. Ground beef, garlic paste, and lemongrass. Season with salt and pepper. Not to taste. That wouldn't be good. You need it? No. I'm not the help. Or I'm the help. That's all I do. Can you at least open it for me? <laughs> Jesus, I'll do it. Lily's thirsty. <laughs> She's at work. <laughs> Garlic, lemongrass. Do you have any fork? Nope. Why? Do it with your hands. No! Makes it better. Paper. Do it. Just dig in. Dig into it. It's part of cooking. Come on. This is nasty. It's cold and squishy. It's squishing a dead cow. Yeah, pretty much. That's exactly what you're doing. Quite literal. <laughs> Guess I'll just take over. Why this was Cooking with Josh now. Hashtag jokes you'll never hear. Done with one. Well, one burger is clearly bigger than the other one. I didn't really do a good job of half. Now back to the regular program. You guys didn't hear any of the jokes we just said. Now what do I do? We're cooking. Oh, cooking. <coughs> Carrots. Sugar. 
Vinegar. No, no. Oh, easy does it. Okay, big pinch. Do you want some salt? Oh. Stop it. That's enough. Well, Jingle has no taste buds, so. Apparently, he's just like, I'm just hungry. I stay hungry all the time. Sit. Nice, you actually got it. I want the <laughs> Still waiting on this dang thing to fucking boil. It's up your butt. I mean, it's definitely warm. Dave told you it was up your butt. It's, it's like he just checked and, oh, yep, yeah, you're right. He's got a wide butt hole. <laughs> Lily, I give you treats and they go eat. She's like, hey, you made me hungry. The carrots are starting to move on their own. Oh, I see some steam. Here's a bubble. Okay, and it's starting to boil. It's happening like all at once. It was cool. All right, it's done. <laughs> all that. Okay, so we're just supposed to set this aside to cool. That was a lot of S sounds. Do you hear that? It was very S-y. The burgers! And my bill is happy! The burgers. Look, my belly's happy, and my back is happy! I need food! Um, it's probably good. It's probably not good. Hello, Lily. I'm so sweetie. It's starting to slide. So, yep, yep. they're bubbling. Yep, let's go. Bubblins. No, it's just bubbling. Oops, being a little ridiculous. I'm gonna touch the dead cow in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, that looks perfect, too. Oh my god, no, don't mess up mine. Ah! I'm done. It popped me like a bazillion times. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Look at all that steam. No, that's probably smoked. Popper. We're not ready. Nope. Ew. That's flavor. What? He's like, I know those are carrots. What is it? Can you smell them? That's all you're getting for you. That's the saddest looking. Why do you need a four? Oh. You don't need one. You barely have it. <laughs> the burger. Gosh. It's pretty good. There's a lot of flavors going on. And mine's dripping. <laughs> I can see lemongrass. I'm glad I didn't put more sriracha because I can feel it. There's nothing to it. I can feel it on my thumb! That's very interesting. So lemongrass in a burger, that's new. And putting carrots on a burger, also new. The biggest thing about Blue Apron, they're making me think about all these different things that they're doing. And I would have never thought about doing that to carrots and then putting it on a burger, you know? I like it. Pretty good. Cabbage is really good. Jingle likes it. You should try it. It's got sugar in it. Oop. Nope. Are we supposed to season the carrots before we put them on there? There's so much flavor going on, I can't tell if the lemongrass did anything. I can taste it. I mean, it's very light, which is probably a good thing, because you don't want it like over the top. But I can also taste the garlic mix in there too. I can taste the garlic. I can barely taste the carrots. I can taste their yeah. energy. Yeah, I don't, I don't really taste them either. Like everything just blends. And I've said that so many times about Blue Apron, like knowing how to do flavor combinations and everything, because all these different things and they just combine perfectly. This is really good. And this is pretty easy to make. I don't yep. know about where you can get lemongrass. I don't know. I would never actually look for it. But even then, I mean, carrots would be easy to do. It don't look like Jimmy's trying a burger. Is that your water? Yeah, it's mine. Can I some? Why? Please. After you clear your mouth. Mm -hmm. It's clear. You sitting there talking <laughs> with your mouth full. <laughs> I think this burger was fantastic. <coughs> God, it's choking. It makes me a little bit more open to burgers because you usually just get burger, cheese, mayo. I uh, know. That's it. <laughs> and you know you like most of the toppings that go in a burger anyway. Other than tomato and pickles. Well, let us know what you think. Leave a comment. Don't forget to vote. And bye. Bye.